Hey Caleb, good to see you today and all of the rest of you. So glad you could check in and watch for a moment as we take a moment in God's Word today. We're moving through the Gospel according to Matthew. And so here is the passage that comes today. It comes right after Jesus has been baptized and then sent into the desert and tempted by the devil uh, after 40 days and 40 nights of fasting. And that's where our story begins. When Jesus heard that John had been put into jail, he left for Galilee. Leaving Nazareth, he went to Capernaum, which is by the sea, in the region of Zebulun and Naphtali. This was to fulfill what was written by the prophet Isaiah. Land of Zebulun, land of Naphtali, across the river, by the sea, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those living in the region and shadow of death, a light has dawned. And Jesus began to preach, saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's the end of this short passage of scripture. At the beginning of the passage, we hear that when Jesus heard that John had been put into jail, he left for Galilee. What might we learn about what Jesus was waiting for, what Jesus was listening for, that when John was put into jail, he left for the region of Galilee. There's some connection, isn't there, between what Jesus does and what John did. Indeed, when Jesus began to preach at the end of this passage, what is his language? The exact same message John had preached some 40 miles south along the region of the Jordan River, and here Jesus is now in the area of Galilee. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. In the middle of this passage, we hear that his going to Capernaum and his arrival there in the land of Zebulun and Naphtali was the fulfillment of prophecy written by Isaiah some 800 years before. And Isaiah wrote that the people walking in darkness, have seen a great light. Upon those living in the region of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. Jesus is connected then to this light. What will we learn about the light that comes, that the first message Jesus preaches to this people is repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I mean, what other message could Jesus have begun with rather than repent if he's a great light? Isn't it interesting, I don't think that I think of great lights as coming with the message of repentance. So what we learn about the power and the purpose of repentance, that it brings light into people's lives. It is a great reminder in the season coming up on Christmas of the light that Jesus brought just by moving into a new place. He brought great light. He was a great light in that region, moving there. Isn't that an amazing thought? It makes you wonder what we can bring into places just by being the people we are following the Lord Jesus Christ. What insight do you get from this passage that Jesus followed John in his same message as he began his ministry. What would that tell you about Jesus? And what do you think about him being this great light, a light that dawned on people who dwelt in this land of darkness or under the shadow of death? What might that tell you about the character and the purpose of Jesus in your life? And maybe it tells you something about the purpose of your life in the lives of those around you as Jesus lives in you. Hey, welcome to the beginning of December. Have a great day.